We are halfway through January. How are you doing on your New Year's resolution to eat healthier? Past couple of weeks, our local MasterChef Legends champion Kelsey Murphy has been here to help out with some ideas for healthier breakfasts and lunch ideas. She's back this morning with a great idea for a delicious and nutritious option for dinner. Yes. I walked over here and I said, I'm eating this today. It looks good. It, this is a <laughs> pork tenderloin, but we were talking about something honey Dijon, right? Yes. Yeah. So pork tenderloin is basically like your vehicle to add flavor to. Right. Um, you know, we all grew up with pork and I mean, I'm sorry, mom, you're watching, but like <laughs> it was, it was kind of dry. So I want to teach everybody how to kind of zhuzh it up a little bit, add zhuzh some flavor, zhuzh it up. With the salad, right? Yes. Yeah. With a farro salad. Okay. So we are talking healthy Farro is um, a really awesome grain. It's kind of like barley, okay. but again, it absorbs so much flavor um, to it. So it just fills you up. It's super healthy, filled with fiber, filled with protein, and it just takes on any flavor you put in it. Let's get started. So let's get started. We're going to do the marinade, and we use the marinade for the pork and the farro. So that's okay. the that's the really the benefit of this is you do it once and use it twice. Okay. Okay. Once and do it twice. Use it once, do it twice. So we have honey. So that's the honey. We've got Dijon mustard. And then we've got a little bit of balsamic and a little bit of soy. I know that sounds okay. really weird, oh, yeah. um, but it just adds that kind of like salty sweet to gotcha. the marinade. Okay. And you just whisk that all up. Okay. And then once that's whisked, you add half of it. I've already added some to this pork. You right. add it just in a zip top bag. Now, how long should you marinate? At meat. least 30 minutes okay. um, if you have time. Because some people um, like some to pe just I, paste it on and move on. Yes, at least 30 minutes. <laughs> okay. um, so try to plan a little bit ahead, but you can also do this overnight. So you could do it the night before. That makes okay? sense because then all of the juices that you just mixed up gets into the meat. Exactly. And I always say buy more than you need because okay. pork tenderloin you can use over and over and over again in other meals. And I'm going to show you how to do that at the end. And you use the same concoction exactly so half of it will go in the bag the other half you pour right over your farro okay okay and you mix that in with the farro and you want to do it when the farro is warm so right after you take it off the stove because when it's warm the grains are still open and they will soak in all of that marinade and for people who are not familiar with farro what is it it is a grain so it's kind of like quinoa a yeah, little bit okay. kind of like barley but you cook it like pasta, so you don't gotcha. have to worry about the ratios of like four cups to one cup and knowing that. You just throw it in with water and stock and then drain it after 30 minutes when it's tender. Now, a lot of folks also about cooking the pork tenderloin, how should that be cooked? Yes, that is key. <laughs> pork tenderloin is a lot easier than you think. You want to take it out of the marinade, put it into a pan, sear it for about two minutes on all side, okay. and then pop it in straight into the oven for about 15, 20 minutes at 350 degrees and get yourselves a meat thermometer. Take your pork tenderloin out when it hits 140 to 145. Pork tenderloin, pork can be medium, so uh, you don't have to, you don't have to like kill it. it all the way. You don't have to kill it. <laughs> exactly. You can eat it medium. And um, very quickly, you have a trick of utilizing this stuff yes, all over Yes, so again. to utilize this all over. So here we have the farro as the base with the pork tenderloin and some arugula over top. Arugula. Oh, so love it. good. So yeah. try arugula. It's awesome. And then what I like to do is the next day, I flip it for lunch. Okay. So then I use the arugula as the base for a salad. I top it with some farro and then I chop up some extra pork tenderloin and then add some fruit and nuts to it. And now we have a salad that utilizes all the same ingredients. So healthy, Kelsey. Yes. All right. This is a dinner recipe we have here. Appreciate you coming on Thank this you. morning. Really appreciate it.